Hello students, in this video we will discuss about how to find log and log values. So before this we will discuss about some rules of logarithm. Like uh, the first rule is when we have log x into y this value can be written as log x plus log y. If we have a value like log x over y this value can be written as log x minus log y. If we have a value like log x to the power y, this value can be written as y log x. If we have a power, if we have a power like y, it may be like 2 or 3, it is forwarded before log. So the value is y log x. So log x to the power y is equal to y log x. Okay. Now we have a relation between natural log ln and log we have a relation between these two ln and log the relation is actually ln is with base e and log has base strength and uh, how can we convert this ln e into log value we have to multiply with 2.303 so this is the value of ln that is natural log natural log means it has base e and log value it has base strength base 10 means log 10 log 10 with base 10 is actually equal to 1 similarly natural log e with base e is equal to 1 so if any value uh, is same to that of base its its uh, result is 1 okay so uh, the log table which we have in our books the, that is actually log table with base 10 that is not with uh, uh, base e so we uh, we have uh, to find out the value with base 10 so these are some rules now let's discuss how can we find out the log values of a given number for that you need a log table with you so just keep a log table now your log table has three parts see it has three parts this column has a two digit number which starts from 10 and it is up to 99 you can see the first column has a two digit number which starts from 10 to 99 so this this is the two digit number for which we are uh, we, uh, we will find out the log value and this is the log value for which we will find out the value this is the log value and it is from 0 to 9 this is from 0 to 9 and this will be the third digit of the given number this will be the third digit of the given number so it has some four digits values four digits values now the last the last part of the table is mean difference this is mean difference and this mean difference is from 1 to 9 this is from 1 to 9 and this will be the fourth digit for your given number of your given number for which we will find out the log value it has it has a, a one digit or two digit number here so this these are the three parts of your log table uh, the first column has a two digit number for which you will find out the uh, log value this is uh, the log value this is the third digit of your given number and the mean difference for which uh, this this is the fourth uh, num fourth digit of your given number hum iske liye iska log value find out karenge so this this is the uh, your log table this is your log table similarly we have on anti log table we will discuss it later so uh, suppose we have a number like log 2.753 this is the number for which we have to find out the log value so uh, what we will do uh, we have to uh, we have to see the log value of two digits we see the log value of the starting two digits as you see the uh, the first column of your log table has two digits that is from 10 to 99 uh, so always you will see the log value of the starting two digits that is 27 here okay so you will see the log value of 27 in 5 and you will see the mean difference of 27 in 3 so see this uh, what is the value of 27 in 5 and uh, this is this is 4393 3. this is 4 3 9 3 okay and uh, the mean difference of 27 in 3 is and the mean difference in 3 is 5 the mean difference is 5 so the log value that means the third digit is for the log value 
and the fourth digit is for mean difference. Okay, so uh, 27 ka log value hum 5 mein dekhenge. Matlab starting ki 2 digit ka log value hum 3rd digit mein dekhenge. Aur starting ki 2 digit ka mean difference hum 4th digit mein dekhenge. Aur ab jab humne in dono values ko dekh liya hai, we will add these two values and the final value will be 4, 3, 9, 8. This is 4, 3, 9, 8. So I will write what? 4, 3, 9, 8. I will write 4, 3, 9, 8 with a decimal, uh, with a point before this. So this will be 0. 0.4398 and what will come before this point? For that, we will discuss one thing more. Uh, the, uh, your log, your log value has actually two parts. The uh, before decimal, before decimal, the value which is written is actually called characteristics. It is called characteristics. And the value which is written after the decimal is called mantissa. It is called mantissa. Okay, so we have two uh, parts of the log value. One is called characteristic, and an another is called mantissa. So for that, for the to find to find the value before decimal, we we need this characteristic. We need this characteristic. That means हम यहाँ पर ये देखेंगे कि हमारा जो characteristic है उसमें कितने digits हैं उसमें कितने digits हैं और उसके according हम digits in characteristics minus one and that will be the answer of your value before the decimal okay so here we have only one digit in the characteristic I am again telling you digits in characteristics minus one digits in characteristics minus one so we have only one digit in the characteristic so one minus one that will be zero here and you will put zero before decimal here so the your value will be 0 0.4398 okay <clears throat> so this is the value of log 2.753 let's uh, take another example and this is suppose 27.53 this is 27.53 so in this case again i will see the log tip, log value of 27 and 5 again i will see the mean difference of 27 in 3 and that will be same 4393 and 5 and the addition will be same again 4398 so what i will do this will be 4398 okay this will be 4398 0.4398 so for this i need what characteristic okay here characteristic uh, characteristic is 27 and i have two digits here the formula is what digits in characteristic minus one digits in characteristics that is two minus one is equal to one here and this is your value 1.4398 okay digits in characteristics is uh, two Okay, so 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. So what will be the value of log 275.3? Now I can write what? 2.4398. Okay, just find out this value. It will be 2.4398. Okay, so this is this is your log value of 2.753. Now, uh, suppose we have only 3 digits. We have only 3 digits in our log value we have only three digits in our log value and this is like suppose 4.54 this is like 4.54 so now what will we do again we will see the log value of starting two digits that is a 45 in 4 we will see the log value of 45 in 4 and as we don't have any fourth digit so the, uh, the we will consider it as zero and uh, see your log table there is no uh, mean difference for zero in that column there is no uh, a value for zero so uh, you will you will see the log value of 45 and 4 only and uh, see the value this is 45 and 4 0 1 2 3 4 that is 6 5 7 1 this is 6 5 7 1 this is 6 5 7 1 and so now the value is 6 5 7 1 point and what will be the value here as i have only one digit in characteristic so one minus one that is zero and this will be the value this is 0 0.6571 this is 0 0.6571 this is the value 
of log 4.54. Now suppose I have only two digits here, log 3.2. I have only log uh, log 3.2. So what I will do? What I will do? I will see the log value of 32 in the third digit and I will consider it as 0. I will consider it as 0. So you will see the log value of 32 in 0. Okay, you will see the log value of 32 in 0 and that will be 32 in 0. 32 in 0 is 5051. So you will write what? 5051. You will write 5051 and again you see you have only one digit, one digit before uh, in the characteristic. So again 1 minus 1 that is 0. So your value will be 0 0.5051. 0 0.5051. Suppose I have log 32, I have to see the value of log 32. So then I, what I will do, log 32 means again I will see the uh, uh, third digit will be thir uh, 0 as I will consider it as 32.0, 32.0. So I will see the log value of 32 in 0. So this will be log 32.0 means again 5051 point and before point what I will write, what I will write. I have uh, now two digits in characteristics, so 2 minus 1 that will be 1. So it, the value will be 1.5051. Okay, now suppose I have only one digit in the log. Now I have only one digit in the log, like log 7. I have to see the value of log 7. Okay, so uh, there is no second digit here. So again I will consider it as 7.0 and the third digit will be again 0. So now I will see the value of 70 in 0. I will see the value of 70 in 0 because I cannot see the single digit in log value. As you know, the log value starts from 10. Log value starts from 10 and it is up to 99. So I can see only two digit value in the log. So I will consider second digit as 0 and third digit as 0 again to see the log value. So I will see the log value of 70 in 0. I will see the log value of 70 in 0. See in the log table this is 8451. This is 8451. So now I have only one digit in the characteristic. So that will be 0. Okay 1 minus 1 will, will be 0. So 0 0.8451. So uh, the main thing is you have to remember this value. You, you have to remember this value which comes before point always uh, digits in characteristics minus 1 will be your value before the decimal digits in characteristics minus 1 okay so this is 0 0.8451 uh, if, if uh, my value is log 70 if the value is log 70 if the value is log 70 then what i will do log 70 is again i will consider the third digit as 0 I will see the log value of 70 that will be again 8, 4, 5, 1. Now I have two digits in characteristics so the value will be 1.8451. Okay, the value will be 1.8451. So uh, 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 in this way we can find the log values in this way. And suppose I have some powers here. I have some power here like log. 2.34 into 10 to the power 6. The value is like this. 2.34 into 10 to the power 6. So for this, I will use the formula like log x into y. I will use my first formula log x into y. This is like log x into y. So the value will be log 2.34. This is equal to log x plus log y. So it will be log 3.34 plus log 10 to the power 6 okay log 2.34 into plus log 10 to the power 6 now what i will do i will uh, see the log table for this okay i will see the log value of 23 and 4 the 4 digit will be suppose 0 okay i will consider it as 0 okay so uh, the log value will be 23 uh, i will see the log value of 23 in 4 and this is 23 in 4 is 3692. 23 in 4 is 3692. So this is 3692. Okay, so what I will write? 3692. 3692. Okay, uh, point. And as, as I have only one digit in the characteristic, so the value will be 0 0.3692. 
and for this i will use another formula another rule of log and that is log x to the power y log x to the power y is equal to y log x log x to the power y is equal to y log x so it will be x log 10 x log 10 and you uh, have to remember the value of log 10 this is 1 log 10 value is 1 and now we I have valued 0 0.36 0 0.3692 plus 6 that is 6.3692 in this way I can see the value which has some powers in 10 okay so uh, uh, this is another example now let's take an example uh, which has a value less than 1 why less than 1 because see the value of log 1 in the table see the value of log 1 in the table you will see uh, the value is 0, 0, 0, 0. This value is 0, 0, 0, 0. As I have only one digit here, the value will be 0 0.0000. Okay. So the value will be the value of log 1 is actually 0. Okay. It is 0. If I have a value which is greater than log 1, if I uh, if I am seeing the value which is greater than log 1, like log 10, log 15, log 2.34 2 into 10 to the power 6 then the value will be positive then your result will be positive if i am seeing the value which is uh, which is less than log 1 like log 0 point something log uh, 2.3 into 10 is to power minus 5 minus 6 then the result will be negative then yeah, yeah, the result will be negative so now let's take an example which has value less than 1 which has value less than 1 so suppose i have value log 0 0.735 okay the value is like 0 0.7359 suppose okay log 0 0.7359 so what i will do first of all i have to convert this value into a value which has which has a positive characteristic okay which has a or we can say a non zero characteristic a non zero characteristic so the value will be log 7.359 into 10 is to power minus 1 first of all i have to convert this value into a value which has non-zero characteristic okay so the value will be log 7.359 into 10 to the power minus 1 clear so now i will see the log value of what 73 into 5 now see the log value of 73 into 5 and this will be 8663 the value is 8663 and the mean difference of 73 in 9 is mean difference of 73 in 9 is 5 it is 5 so i will add these values that will be 8668 this is 8668 so now the value is 8668 as I have, I have only one digit in the characteristic, so the value will be 0 here. So now this is 0 0.8668 into 10 to the power minus 1. And uh, I can write again as uh, plus log 10 to the power minus 1 with the same formula. Now I can write 0 0.8668 plus minus 1 log 10 okay or i can write as 0 0.8668 minus 1 and now you can find out the result okay so this is the value for a log which is less than 1 but in this way we can find all the values of log if the value of log is in negative like log minus 0 0.3 0 0.3 as uh, in the similar way we can find the value of log and we will put a negative sign before the value before the answer okay so uh, this is all about your log values now let's discuss about anti-log values again we have two parts in anti-log and that is again called characteristic which is before the decimal value and after the decimal it is called mantissa okay the same is here before decimal it is called characteristic and after decimal it is called mantissa your anti-log table is again has three parts your anti-log table has three parts and this part is different it starts from 0 0.00 and it is up to 0.99 it is from 0 0.00 and it is up to 0.99 that means you will see the anti-log value of mantissa only of your mantissa only 
you will see the antilog of mantissa means uh, the starting two digits of mantissa will uh, will be the will be the value of here okay ye uh, means you will see the two digits of mantissa here okay so suppose it is 0.23 you will search for 0.23 here clear so this is 0.002 0.99 here we have again 1 to 9 values of antilog these are antilog values and this is again mean difference this is again mean difference and it is again from uh, sorry this is from 0 to 9 and this is from 1 to 9 the antilog value is from 0 to 9 and the mean difference is from 1 to 9 which is again same clear so this is your antilog value <coughs> antilog table now let's take some example like suppose i have a value of antilog like uh, 2.3576 I have an antilog value antilog value uh, for 2.3576 so uh, this is the characteristic that is 2 mantissa is 0.3576 as we have discussed we will see the antilog of mantissa and Mant uh, the starting two digits of mantissa is 0.35 so I will see the value of 0.35 I will see the value of 0.35 in the third digit that is 7 I will see the mean difference of 35 in the fourth digit that is 6 okay so what is the antilog value again just uh, uh, see your antilog table and in antilog 0 0.35 0 0.35 in the seventh value as 2275 this is 2275 this is 2275 and the mean difference of 35 and 6 is 3 this is 3 this is 3 so I will add these two values just like your log value I will add these two values and this will be 2 2 7 8 ok so I will add these two values just write it as your scientific notation now you will write it as your scientific notation 2.278 Okay, now we have some different uh, uh, here difference here in the antilog value. Uh, you will write this value as your scientific notation means uh, you will put decimal after the first digit after the first digit. Okay, so two two seven eight will be written as two point two seven eight into ten to the power characteristic into ten to the power your characteristics and your characteristic is two, so you will write two here you will write 2 here. I am again telling you, you will see the antilog value of 35 and 7 and then uh, mean difference of 35 in the 4th digit that is 6. You will add these two values. The final result will be written in the scientific notation in your standard value. That is, you will put a decimal after the first digit that is 2.278 into 10 to the power characteristics and that is 2. If your characteristic is 10, you will write 10 here. If it is 0, you will write 0 here. Okay, so this is the way to find out the antilog value. Clear, suppose I have antilog value like 0 .0 0 0.0.575. I have 0 0.575. So, for I will see the antilog value for 0.57. Okay, the starting two digits of mantissa 0.57 into 5 and as I, as I uh, don't have any fourth digit, I will not see the mean difference. I will not see the mean difference. Uh, so 0.57 into 5, 0.57 into 5, so let's see the antilock table and the uh, antilock table uh, for, uh, for 0.57, the fifth value is 3758, 3758. Five, eight. this is 3758 okay so uh, you will write it as a standard scientific notation this is 3.758 this is 3.758 into 10 to the power characteristic that is 0 so this is 10 to the power 0 okay so in this way you can find the antilog value and if, if you have suppose only two digits here 0 0.57 you will consider the third digit as 0 and you will see the value similarly if you have only one digit here just like 0 0.5 okay you have only 0 0.5 then you can write what uh, you can you can consider second third digit as 0 and then you can find the value then you can find the value so this is the way to find out antilog value 
okay this is the way to find out anti log value clear so uh, now let's discuss another rule of anti log for negative value now we have some different rule for anti log and this is quite different suppose i have a value like anti log minus 3.5714 I have an anti log value like minus 3.5714 for this value I cannot directly see the anti log value I cannot see directly the anti log value first of all I have to convert this value into into a positive value okay into a positive value how, how can I convert the rule is you add one in characteristic you add one in characteristic so you will add one plus c one in characteristic and then uh, you will you will uh, subtract the mantissa from one you will subtract mantissa from one this is the rule you will add one in the characteristic and you will subtract your mantissa from one this is the rule so uh, uh, what will be the result i will add one in the characteristic so this will be four this will be four so now i have anti log four but i will put a bar value here I will put a bar value here as I have added minus value in one. So I will put a bar value here and consider it as minus four. You consider it as minus four. This is four bar, but consider it as minus four. Point one minus mantissa. So consider it as one point zero 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 here. One minus mantissa. So this will be six, eight, two. And four, okay. This will be uh, six, eight, two, and four. Okay. So now you have anti log four bar point four two eight six. Now you will see the anti log value of forty two. You will see the anti log of your mantissa starting two digits of mantissa, and this is now point four two. You will see the anti log value into eight, and you will see the main difference into six. Okay, 0.42 into 8 and 0.42 into 6, and this is 0.42 into 8 is 2679. This is 2679, and 0.42 into 6, 0.42 into 6. This will be the mean difference, and this will be 4. This is 4. You will add these two values, and this will be 2683. This is two six eight three. Okay, this is two six eight three. Now you will write it as your scientific notation two point six eight three, two point six eight three into ten to the power characteristics. And what is your characteristic here? This is minus four, not four. This is minus four. So this will be the value two point six eight three into ten to the power characteristic. That is minus four. So in this way you can find anti log value. Okay, just take some examples. Take, okay, and then find some anti-log values. Clear? So this this is the way to find out some log and anti-log values. Thank you.